following up on that question, is there a recommendation that you have how many pages of resume a person should write based on experience? Is it like, if it's a fresher, is there a number? If it's like five years, is there a number for a C level? Is there a number like, do you have any suggestions on that? No, there is no such, um, you know, fixed number of pages, but it is, it is the truth that nobody wants to read many pages of the CV, right? Nobody wants to, nobody has the time, not even the person who's interviewing you, forget the recruiter who's, you know, being this uh, bridge between you and the person who's going to interview you, even the person who's going to interview you will not have the time to read the entire CV. They will not. They will just look into the key pointers that you've written. So as crisp as possible, I have seen, like when we recruited C-level folks, right? Like chief marketing officer, chief uh, sales officer, their resumes were one page. Wow. Like they were able to put everything into a one pager. So this is where the quality of what you write comes into the picture. It's not the number of lines going on, uh, you know, talking about everything in length, but rather what really impacted. So they would just directly talk about things they've done, which has really turned around the businesses that they have worked with, like the, the profits they made for the company, anything like that. So I... While interviewing them is when I understood, you know, as you go up the ladder, your CV, uh, the length of your CV should get shorter uh, because you can actually summarize a lot of things. And of course, while talking to the interviewer, you can always talk in length and answer all their questions. And that also keeps that suspense factor there, right? Like the person who's interviewing will still have a lot to understand. Okay, so you've written this. Can you elaborate on this? So there's so much more that you can talk and, um, you know, continue the conversation. That's nice. Yeah. Um, it's good to know that we have to keep it as concise as possible, right? Um, yeah. That's the best way. Uh, jump in and correct me if I go wrong in this. When uh, when I started really getting um, calls on my resume was my friend Praveen. He told me, like, just for each experience that you have, just put two or three points and each point should be like, like, probably one or two sentence. What is the tool that you used? What did you do? And what is the impact that the, your team had based on that? It could be like, how do you say the conversion rate for website for a particular Correct. campaign improved, improved from improved these many percentages. So he Correct. mentioned about that. I'm, I was like, yeah, that's, that's a good point. And I started using that in my resume. Am I correct? Yes, you are right. Uh, very much. Um, 